old deep dish. That's right, deep dish. <laughs> like old meat lovers. Yeah. They're sitting in there just nice and deep. Yeah, that's nice, huh? No, I was like making But you know what's going to happen? Like mm. As soon as you get them, I, I won't give it two weeks. You're going to see everybody going to copy you. We are going fishing. We got our stuff ready. Got my drone ready. Ready to go. Got his GoPro ready. There's that little okay. one that cute little one So it is our tradition to stop at Popeyes before we go fishing. And so talk to that little one. Talk to that little white girl. What is your tradition before you guys go fishing? Is that your new truck? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what size the tire. Thirty-three. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a standard 33? Yeah, 33. Wheels are 20 by 10. <laughs> you gonna stay here? Yeah. Tradition number two. Gas station. Do you wanna um, drink anything? No, I'm good. Just water's fine. We always stop at this gas station right before we get to the pond. And the pond is actually like right down the road. Also, I don't know if you guys saw it on my Instagram, but John is selling this truck. This 2014 GMC Sierra. 54,000 miles on it right now. And I mean, just it's got an amp research, uh, 20 by 12 with Toyo Open Country RT, 90% tread, the uh, Flow Master Dual Exhaust, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's an SLT model, so it is fully loaded, remote star, AC seats, all that good stuff. Uh, he's selling it because he's thinking about getting a Duramax like mine. So if you guys are interested, uh, send me a DM on my Instagram right here. Or send John a DM on his Instagram as well. And uh, if you guys know anybody that's selling a, you know, LLY or LBZ Duramax, uh, preferably white, uh, just let me know as well. He doesn't want to buy anything over 150,000 miles. So if you guys know anybody with an LLY or LBZ under 150,000 miles, Crew cab, four wheel drive, let me know. I know I just described basically my Duramax, but my Duramax is not for sale, so I am not selling it to him. So don't even comment that in the comments below. We are here at the first fishing location. This is Old Man's Pond. And then after this, we're gonna head over to our friend Josh, his pond.
to our second location. We are done here. Check this out. Got done fishing. How many fish did you catch? Uh, seven, eight. Seven or eight. Man, we're taking three. Oh, I think. Okay. All right, and then now we're off to Peter's house because we're just gonna hang out with him and then wait for his wheels to come in, and then you guys can finally find out what Peter got. No one guessed what he ordered. Nobody. A lot of people said hostile. A lot of people said uh, moto metal and fuel. And this guy on. You want this one? On? We just gotta take little ones out for the pond. This guy. And this guy. Nice. Somebody please buy this truck so I can get a Duramax.
Are we gonna wash a truck or buy drugs? <laughs> buy drugs. <laughs> Some cocaine. Just gotta wait for the dealer to come. Tell him we're here. Uh, I think he's here because his um, towel's out there. Nice. Yeah. That means he's here. Mm -hmm. Just gotta find him. Probably in the woods somewhere. Probably in the woods. Or in one of those garages over there. Oh, yeah. Making his, making his meth. Oh, we're doing meth today? Nice. And I'm gonna pay with quarters. Nice. How about that? <laughs> Hope he takes um pennies too, not just a quarter. I think he, I think he will. Yeah. We're his regular, so I heard he needs money, so I think he'll take whatever. Mm -hmm. There you go. I'm gonna let you drive. I'll let you drive the Duramax or the Dirty Max. Is this the one? No, it's this little guy. What? Yeah. You sure it's not this one? No, I'm pretty sure it's not that one. Woo! First, you gotta get your feet up. Grab your handle, jump. Oh, okay. First things first with first. a Duramax. You gotta turn it to turn run it. position. Turn it. Let the car get ready. You can crank it up. And she'll let you know when she's ready. Oh, okay. Oh. oh boy. Proud to be a dirty Max owner. Yeah. Oh goodness. Yeah, driving the truck. Oh wow, use your muscle. Damn. Use your muscle, son. gas truck after this. You're gonna be bored driving your truck after this. <laughs> Turbo. <laughs> Is that the sound Mike's uh, engine makes? <laughs> Sounds like a tractor. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, those champions all the way back there. <laughs> How do you like that? Huh? Oh, that Chevy is way back there now. That's right. That's Get right. off my ass. Dust you up. Can't wait to buy my home. When you're at drive through you turn it off and I'll just... <laughs> so we go together. <laughs> so you, go, you go to the left hey. one. You go to the left one, I go to the right one. <laughs> like McDonald's. <laughs> Big what? Can I get a hung? <laughs> so you're gonna have to come inside. <laughs> Is it bad if I rev in? No. Hmm? What the? Oh my goodness. We made it. I was so scared. Woo! <laughs> All right, so Peter's new wheels are finally here. This is what people do. What? Like this. <laughs> this is it. Like I said, this has the 35 by 1250 Toyo MTs. Bring her home. That's right. That's right. She's here. You All right. Her. Reveal. Boom. 22 by 12 fuel assault. Nobody guessed it. Nobody guessed this wheel. There's no lip on this, but look how like look how look how much uh, look how deep the center goes in. And this side it comes out. Right. So this part sticks out about maybe like half an inch, about an inch. It's pretty pretty good looking. Yeah. And nobody had 22 by 12 mm -hmm. in Augusta. Mm -mm. He's gonna be the first one. Yeah, I think Peter might be the only guy with 22 by 12 fuel on assault. On Denali. Yep. On a Denali. If you drive Denali, you better spend big bucks. Because <laughs> right, I'm thinking about getting 20, 20 by 14 fuel assault if they make it. So that is it. What do you guys think? That is pretty sick ass room. Thumbs up guys, thumbs up. You gotta give thumbs up on this one. Let's go put it next to his truck. Man, those 35s are huge. With these? Yeah, I haven't seen those yet. I've seen, you know, I haven't seen a lot Ooh. of the black rims, but I haven't seen those. First guy in the dust. Man, that thing digital. is badass. <laughs> uh, that is nasty. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen those. Yeah, that's gonna be nice, yeah. yeah. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> right. That's nice, dude. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's that. nice and deep, like old. Pizza, like old deep dish. That's right, deep dish. Like old meat lovers. Yeah. They're sitting in there just nice and deep. Yeah, that's nice, yeah. That was like making me But you know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. As soon as you get them, I, I won't give it two weeks. You're going to see everybody going to copy. They, everybody going to start getting them reels right there. You're going to see everybody right there. So we got documentation to see who's first. Okay. That's right. Okay. Yeah, because they going to copy. Concave okay. is going to come back. We got these from Custom Offsets, so shout out to Custom Offsets for these awesome looking wheels. And the lift kit will be at Dealer Options sometime uh, this week. We're gonna get this baby lifted in about a week or two. So you guys make sure to subscribe and just follow me on Instagram. 
and uh, this build will be ready in about two weeks. Dun, 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 da, da, da. Woo. Nice. Mm. That is bad. That is bad. That looks good. Yeah. So the moon. Hello. Oh my gosh, what a day. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am pretty sunburnt. Like, yeah, so I'm freaking exhausted from being out in the sun all day. Uh, but we had a good day. We went fishing. We got to see Peter's new wheels. But we also got to check out some of the new kayaks that Southern Moon Outfitters just got. They're actually called New Canoe. So they're like oversized kayaks and they're super wide. They're really cool. Uh, I'll try to go back there and get more uh, clips if you guys want me to and like get more information about them. But uh, they were about to close and we were just hanging out so I didn't get to like film as much as I wanted to. But I will go back if you guys want me to and like if you guys are interested in seeing more of it. But that's, that's really it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think of Peter's New Wheels. Uh, like I said, none of you guys have guessed it correctly. And um, let me know like did it disappoint you guys or uh, you know, was it like, did it meet your expectations? Uh, we personally think it looks amazing. Uh, we were talking, to, me and John, we were talking about how if it was a 20 by 12, it wouldn't look as good. But because it's a 22 by 12 wheel, it looks, it looks absolutely amazing. So we are super jealous of Peter. And it makes me want to get like some 20 by, 20 by 14 or 22 by 14 concaved wheels. I do want to get the fuel wheels like Peter, but I don't want to be like copying him. So I'm going to start looking at some other wheels. Uh, I did come across Moto Metals uh, like new lineup that they're showing. And I personally like them. You know, I don't really care about which brand you go with. I like the design of the wheels. So there's a slight chance that I might get another set of Moto Metals. I do want to try the uh, uh, American Trucks Company because I kind of like trying out new companies, the companies that people haven't really heard of. I do like to try those new brands. But like I said, um, it makes me want to get new wheels. But that's really it for today's video. Thanks for watching and you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.